Greetings, everybody. This is Brother Ron Carter, also known as R2C2 HD Harvest. You are watching We All Be TV, News Free Dixie for the 21st century. Can you dig it? One more question. I get you out of here, Judge. You've been very kind with your time. I got to ask you, like, well, Dana, everybody want to know your thoughts about the comic Eric Spears, comments about Lizzo, her looks, and also the just the pushback and the council thing on Eric Spears. Have you heard? The yeah. You said? Okay, what's I your take on it? On it. That's why she wanted me there. Yeah. You know, um, if you look like Rihanna, J Lo, Beyonce, some of the women I've dated, well, you can get away with that because you look good. They have statuary, paintings, and representation of beautiful nude women all over the world. Yeah. She's talking about Rumanesque paintings where the sick Dutch were bragging about how well they could feed their women because they had money. You know, you may be a nice sister, beautiful personality, but keep your damn clothes on. Why you got to put it in conjunction with slut action and go around looking like mammy, you know? and fulfill everybody's negative image of black women. And, you know, I've been in places um, where there are conferences uh -huh. and they've been in Southern cities, even Memphis. And I've sat behind white women, Asian women, and they said, my God, I have never seen so many fat women in my life, let alone in one place. They're all going to die before they hit 40. Maybe yes, maybe no. <laughs> you can be a great person. Right. But keep your goddamn clothes on. What is it where you start trying to sell what you're about by being a slut and trying to play a part in P Valley? Yeah, yeah. You know, look at Lizzo. There's one circulating on Twitter now, and it's taken off of a video that took place in the uh, Staples Center in L.A. It was, if I recall correctly, it was a Lakers playoff game. And all these young kids watching this, and this slob gets up in a black T-shirt dress, mid-thigh, with all of her butt cut out and some dental floss up her butt cheeks, twerking on the dance floor with her ass up, facing everybody. They got upset with Janet Jackson, good looking woman. She microsecond flashed uh, some titty with a huge uh, starburst around, you know, who was a piercing, but hell, it was covering more of her breast than the typical swimsuit does these days. Everybody, wardrobe malfunction went crazy about it. Now they got right. this slob looking woman out there doing that. It's distasteful. It's degrading. It's dehumanizing. And it is insulting to beautiful black women. Now, I'm sorry if you are big, be nice. Don't try to be slutty. Now, I understand if your mama looks like that, you might find that attractive. But quite frankly, you know, that's getting to be a common thing, but it didn't used to be. And I'm not exaggerating. I go in a club now, a few times I go in. Some of these are some nice women. And most of them that I'd run into, they're over 650 55 going to 60. Okay, I understand that. 
but I'll go in someplace else just because it's not even a nightclub. Uh-huh. And these girls are 15 years old, 25 years old, and they're bigger than the ones that are 65. They're the way out of shape that used to be hot when they were 15, 20, 25 years old. Right. They don't look that way now. So mm -hmm. what in the world's going on? And to show you how degrading it is, the Cincinnati, Ohio Zoo has an aquarium, and they've been engaging in a sea mammal rescue program among sea cows. So they named one of their rescue sea cows after her, and that sea cow is named Lizzo. That's a I you uh that's like now think about it. Sneaky, and then don't this, forget though. the contest they had is to who looks the foxiest, Lizzo or Gloria. Wow. You know who Gloria is? Who is Gloria? Remember Madagascar? Oh, remember the, hippo, the right? remember the giraffe that had it on for the female hippo whose name was Gloria? Ah, uh, they compared her to that. Yeah, and guess who won? Gloria. Well, you know, where is the white female version of Lizzo? That's the thing. White folks don't promote that among their own. No, they don't. They won't tolerate it. You look they at. Won't. They have a lot of so-called unattractive black women on TV, but they won't put like white 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 people are interested. They won't. They won't. They happy because they used to fear black women. Black women used to be the envy of the world when it came to beauty. I look at them jet magazines from the fifties and the in the sixties. Black women were fine. They were the you know Dorothy Dandridge, you know Freddie Washington, you know on all shades and hues. Even the system from Star Trek was fine. And like we went, our standards are down. I mean, we we embrace a deaf culture. You know, hey man, I dated Frida Payne for eight years. Oh, yeah. Band of gold. We just lost. Uh, sure brother. did. Yeah, yeah. We still friends and talk Fred regularly. Yeah, I saw man, her five I'm years ago. I'm looking at she this stuff good. now. I'm going. <laughs> See, she got her stuff still together. I saw her five oh, years yeah, ago. Oh, yeah. She's in the yoga. Yeah, she's good people. <laughs> What a Detroit party. Around. We used to have some great adventures, but I mean, point of the exercise is is what? Oh, the honey hell? boo boo. You remember honey boo boo, Judge? Nobody said honey boo boo. That's that was the one white kid, one. Though. Uh -huh. That's the one white one. That's like, but there's a kid, like there's like a fat I know a kid. Like early Temple. Didn't she die of a heart attack or something? I, I don't know. She grown up, but she don't look the same. You know how <laughs> those child stars don't look like they, they, they people start losing interest in them after they get older. And this regular looking, allegedly. But with Ari Spears, I noticed that people attack his appearance, but it's a, it's a difference for a man and a woman. What's the standard for a woman is looks. Man is about pocketbook, right? About what you got in your wallet, yeah. what you pack in resources, your name, your uh, achievements, your accomplishments. And women is about okay, look, but let, let's look. So let's look at men. Sports okay. Illustrated. Okay. The men in there tend to be fit. Heavy, medium, small size, they tend to be fit, hard athletes. Right. Football players, basketball players, track stars, swimmers, you name it, bicyclists. So you have a magazine full of pictures of fit men. They used to do that with the women that they had in the swimsuit edition. Right. Now you got Lizzo types in there that are supposed to be pretty. I say, uh-uh, I ain't buying it. You can have fit-looking men. You can have fit-looking women. Yeah. See the double standard? Very much so. Like, no, I, 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 I looked at, I always used to get the swimsuit edition. Mm. Look good. I always like looking at good women. Good-looking women, right? Turn me on. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I've been in museums like look at sculpture. Like, wow, man. Yeah, work of art. I love to have seen the person that they had as a model for this. Yeah. Wow. And by the way, African statuary too. Not this. Not this. Ex They've got two stuff types of stuff. Most of us came from West Africa, and they right. have. 
something called the Nock Civilization, N-O-K, from the Juice, J-U-S, Plateau in Western Nigeria. And contemporaneously with Greek statuary, where it was very anatomically real and representational of the human body, the African statuary looks basically the same body build as the contemporaneous Greek sculpture does, all right? Yes. That stuff that we associate with African statuary now seems to have been an evolution the same way you get Picasso doing expressive art. The Africans did that too. But the early stuff that's representational, these girls are fine. And they look the same as they used to look right now. And quite frankly, looks have been part of the human evolutionary scheme. Right. We had Australopithecines for our ancestors and Australopithecines and chimps look quite similar. So there is a reason that we look like we do right now instead of looking like a chimp. So that's because women selected for strong men and men selected for a standard of beauty that was reflected pretty much down through the ages up until we get the last decade here in America where, wow, on south for some reason i don't mean southern yeah. states just gone now I mean, there yeah. was a place called well i won't even name the place it was a restaurant that served big portions and the food was good it was on sunset and you could always count on seeing some absolutely drop dead, gorgeous movie star, aspirant, black women, white women, Asian women, Hispanic women up in there. Yeah. I mean, they were drop dead gorgeous. The last time I went up in there, <laughs> some of those women looked like if there was cannibalism, they ought to have been served up on the menu. I mean, not everybody is gorgeous, but I mean, make do with what she got. What do you think about respectful? At least have a good personality. Let me ask you this, Judge. What do you think about women with tattoos? I mean, it'd be some beautiful women with tattoos. What's your take on women with tattoos? You date them or you are you interested in them? Well, let me say this. Okay. It's just like clothes. Some women can get away with anything and some have to be very selective with what they attire themselves in. Yes, sir. Same thing with tattoos. But if you're going to get tattoos, at least go upscale and get them orange and yellow, and bright green and, you know, colors where you can see them. What is with this dark ink, blue, black that everybody uh, uses? It's like, what is that? You know, like, I didn't see that. That's a new thing. That's like this weight thing. I mean, you go down to certain places that have been here in Memphis long ago, 25 years ago, you go in there and they have some very, very beautiful black women. Uh -huh. Nowadays, if you ever had a women's professional football team, you could go in there and recruit the line from it from them like what happened i don't know just like man wow uh and then you look at them and say they're not gonna make it long how long are we gonna live like that you know diabetic problems coronary problems you know, brother i feel for you guys i mean you know i mean it's hard dating scene is hard right now judge i just <laughs> Well, you know, it is for me, too. And somebody put a tweet up here, a signal of rebellion. This isn't rebellion that you see right now. This is not rebellious. This is I don't know what the fuck to do with myself. <laughs> I, I just, 
Man, we lost because the women are the first teachers of the children. That's why you look at what's going on in Memphis and other places. Like the police officer told me the, the biggest problem is single mothers raised, trying to raise these boys. And this is Who what don't you, know what the uh, boys are supposed to be good for when exactly. they grow up. You know, yeah, I got another this what we got going on. Sir? If you have a mama gorilla, what's she going to raise? A, a gorilla. A if you got a girl gorilla, what's she going to raise? Oh. <laughs> when the girl gorilla is a hood rat? Oh, hey, uh, come on now. Now, we got a rapper from Memphis named Glorilla. As a female rapper, we got a rapper named Glorilla. Girl Rillas. <laughs> you know, girl Rillas going around clowning and riding and trying to ramp it up. You know, like, come on. Give me a break. Yeah, sometimes it ain't all about revealing. Somebody everything. says women today think beauty means get naked. Well, yeah, if you got something to show. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, you go to a beach, man, if a chick got on a thong bikini or a bikini or something, hitting it, and she's got a body, man, there's nothing better than that to look at. But if she looks like the Michelin tire man, god damn, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Put so you, do you think, if I ask you, a judge, you think this is causing, this is the real cause of ED for men not having enough so-called attractive women? Well, this you, know, really calling we, people we, ED? you know what, before <laughs> Mid-America Mall got in, they used to be funny walking down Main Street, downtown Memphis. You'd hear the brothers rap. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Slick red. Slick red. You hear me? Oh, hell. Watch this home. Watch this mine. Hey, babe, yeah, yeah, you didn't need to hear me. You could feel me from two blocks away because I was coming through your head, baby. You know, you could feel me and your radar. I am mean, you know, I'm the one you need, baby. Like, you know, hey, you know, like, it's like that, mama. You know, hey, slick. Well, fuck you, bitch. I didn't want your stanky ass no way, you know. Yeah. But you see, it used to be amusing watching what they had to say. Now, I would walk down and you to get this conversation hey man what's the matter man oh man you ain't been laid man how come you ain't got you no pussy man man i just ain't find us man shit man i don't like to be paying for pussy man shit, shit you catch something man so man look you go down there on uh oh uh, such such street you know where they got that cul-de-sac man you know like you go down there Old fat chick up in there. Her name is uh, Shawnika, man. You oh, tell her man. she fine. She give you some pussy before the half hour gone, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I said, Shawnika, that's a hard name. Hell, I represent a chick like that. I got appointed to represent. Sure enough, she come up. What in the hell is your problem? And she lives on that street. She ain't talking about her. She look like. Not Miss Piggy, but Miss Biggie. You know? <laughs> Miss Biggie. <God. laughs> the Michelin oh. Tire Woman, you know, oh damn. God. Painted a, a, a brown, you know, oh. <laughs> and rolling through some mud or something. Jeez. And all you got to do is go down there and tell her she's fine and they get laid. And see, they get the wrong idea. Dude's trying to get some ass. And they sniff up under it like she's fine. Yeah, baby, you fine. Oh, <laughs> and I remember one time Memphis in May, it was on Beale Street. This has been back in the 80s, man. And I was walking down there with a partner. We'd come up from, <laughs> it ain't much, uh, okay. Came up from the barbecue cooking contest, man. Uh -huh. And everybody was turning around to stare at this chicken. Her friend girl was like, damn, girl, you need to go change. Now, mm -hmm. honey, look at all these men's looking at me. They know they likes what they see. Well, she had a homemade dress on that was made out of this slip material, you know, kind okay. of shiny. And it had triangles. And this chick was so fat, it looked like a rubber band on it. I don't know how she got in there. And all this fat was pussing and puffing out of these uh, triangle cutouts, diamond yes, cutouts. 
like it was, you know, somebody had sewed in padded sections. Everybody going, God damn, what the hell is that? Man, damn, look at that shit. Oh, man, they need to take that to the zoo. And she oh was God. talking about all these men looking at me because they know they likes what they see. It wasn't like, it was like, like looking at a train wreck, man. Like wow. you lady corpses laying all over the goddamn ground. Like, what the hell is this shit? Like going to the zoo, man, and the hip holes broke loose. Oh, Damn, God. man. Oh, shit. shit. So, I mean, it's like they confuse people trying to get laid and what it takes to set up a relationship and not. Yeah. By the way, this here, I'm doing service and selling sauce. So That's it's right. JJB for mayor of Memphis, Tennessee in 2023. Send Brown downtown. And if you That's want right. the best sauce you've ever tried, Judge Joe Brown, JJB, barbecue, bbq.com. You can order yourself some, and in a little while, it'll be on the shelves of your local grocery stores. So get a jump on the summer. It's some really good stuff. JJB, BBQ, and JJB in 2023 for mayor of Memphis, Tennessee. That winning combination. That barbecue sauce is good, Judge. It goes good with just about everything and anything. Yes, it does. French fries included. This is Brother Ron. I am asking you all to do me a big favor. Think about supporting the We All Be movement. Your donation is tax deductible. The We All Be Group Incorporated is a recognized 501c3. And I'm just asking you all because I want to keep on bringing y'all quality work uh, through the way that I know how to do best. And uh, I'm going to sing my praises and toot my horn. A lot of y'all were not hip to Dick Gregory until Brother Ron brought him on the We All Be platform, until that Django review we did. Y'all seen another side of Judge Joe Brown, and Judge Joe Brown's message has been amplified. But it was We All Be that brought Judge Joe Brown to y'all back in 2014. And so many others, and we covered so many things. So help us out so we can help you all. Peace.